the information about four dinos I am right now. First one, Carnotaurotaurus. So, Carnotaur, Tarnotaur, his name is Diocarnotooth. His name is Diocarnotooth. That's kind of like a nice name. Let's talk information about the dinosaur and not about the toy. You can listen too. I know. I know everything that you get. Just tell them. Okay, okay, I know you do. So, first information about Carnotaurus. They might not have used these horns much on battles. They might have used their, like, legs and tail much. That's where they might have had most of the strength. Horn could be like puncturing and poking. Well, even though it's not that strong, it's called meat-eating bull. So... With these tiny arms, I don't know why they're so tiny. It's kind of like not tiny-tastic. Well, when, when it opened its jaw, it would rather prefer, like, it would eat, like, iguanodon and mini dinos and water creatures, like amphibians in it. Like that. It would probably eat that. Its most strength would be like at the tail and the back and the kind of uh, knee. You know the knees that we have? Yeah, those might be the strongest part the Carnotaurus has. But it might use these for lifting dinos and like uh, smashing them or throwing there. And then like use its leg to smash them. Use its tail to like hit them and eat them. Like, I don't know if it's really good at ambushing. But I would say it would like not ambush. I would say ambushing is for Allosaurus. Yeah, I've seen that video. So for it, um, the Carnotaurus's these spikes are so useful that it can like just take the head, slide the dino, and then take its tail, bam, 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 like that. And then it like poof, throws it and then catches it with its horns and then boah, like it does that. Carnotaurus is super cool. It's perfect shaped bones are over here here yeah you see that and on the jaws and the eyes right now i'm just talking one information about the carnotaurus i just love the eyes and this thing it's just so cool and mostly about carnotaurus it might like use its tail to attack uh, I'm just saying information about Carnotaurus. So Carnotaurus is down. Three more to go. Let me get that. My Jungasaurus this time. I'm a Jungasaurus. I'm a Jungasaurus. I'm a Jungasaurus. I love my Jungasaurus. Okay, now he's just singing that. Don't mind him. Just listen to the information. So majungasaurus almost would like ambush its prey so that it can like do with big attacks its most strength is in the jaws and it would probably even use its legs too even though that the legs are just super cool shape and real majungasaurus like majungasaurus is real yeah it's real now the mouth in Majungasaurus and swallowing prey is just so good. I like the swallowing sounds of it. So, it would rather ambush its prey. It would rather eat tiny dinos. Well, I don't know why tiny dinos, when a big dino like this could only eat a tiny dino. That's actually kind of funny. Well, they existed like that, so that's how they are. So, I just love the Majungasaurus. Only it could be like a Majungasaurus if it had more details in the back. Even though I still like this toy, it's so cool. But Majungasaurus would mostly like what tiny dinos would eat. I would rather say it would eat baby dinos. I can't be too sure, but that's what I would say. This is everything that I know about Majungasaurus that I can tell you. So let me get the next dino. So we have the Tyrant Lizard King. Tyrant Lizard King is most 
left, he lay like the dangerous dinosaur. Whoever in the family of Tyrannosaurus Rex, Tyrant Lizard King, would call them, uh, one of the T-Rexes will call them as Tyrant Lizard King. And rest of the T-Rex need to only do what the Tyrant Lizard King says. It's kind of like that. So it's not like every T-Rex is Tyrant Lizard King, only one is. Other T-Rexes will choose who the Tyrant Lizard King can be. Then uh, the Tyrant Lizard King will tell everybody to do what he says. So, which means most of the time they stay in, they stay in the group. Now, it's eyesight. Its vision is way better than eagle. Way, way, way better than human. A zillion times better. Um... Like, uh, you know that we can, like, see super far away? Uh, like, uh, when we see very super far away, everything looks small to us. But uh, when a T-Rex sees the same vision as ours, it looks in normal size for a T-Rex. Its vision is that good. Can you believe it? Yeah. Its strength is in the jaws, the legs, and the tail, and the back. Yeah, but not in the arms. What strength could the arms have? They're useless. Yes. Yes. Well, I've already told you one information about before that it makes the sound hiss and not ra 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 like that. I usually like dinosaurs. Do you know that sometimes I even pretend that I'm all of the dinosaurs in once, the names that I know and I don't know? That's kind of cool. Well, that's for fun games. It might have, like, uh, ambushed on Triceratops, one of its most favorite food. Ow, come on! Why did you say that? Now I feel hungry right now. Okay, okay, I'll get you some Triceratops later. So it would prey on Triceratops and then also Ankylosaurus. It's never beaten any Ankylosaurus before or the Ankylosauroids. But uh, it can beat a Triceratops if it was hunting in the back. That would be so cool. A giant T-Rex beat a bigger Triceratops. That's kind of hard to believe that a T-Rex could beat a a triceratops that's how uh, the t-rex came i didn't i don't know how t-rex appeared but just i know that that's how they were made so just about these two claws um they're showing it like this in the toy but actually uh, those two claws are just about this size yeah, I can't even reach the other one, can't reach them out. They're useless. So, this is the information I tell you about this. Let me take the next dino. Stegosaurus, I'm a Stegosaurus. I am a plant eater. Those are the best of all of them. Okay, now that's just a Stegosaurus song. Now he's just singing that, don't mind him, I never sing that, so... Um, just like I told you two information about this, this Stegosaurus and nothing can stand these spikes for long. Yeah, these plates are most like defense uh, for the roof lizard. First, um, it's known as roof lizard is because scientists first uh, thought that these plates were in the side. But then they put the puzzle together. Then they found out that it was in the top. So... That looks more cool. Who would think of them putting it in the down? That's silly. Yeah, it sure is. Ow, of course. Yeah, its most muscles would be in the tail. And, yes, the tail. It would rather like a uh, battle in the tail. It would rather battle in uh, Allosaurus. If there were like uh, three Stegosauruses or two, it would like be able to beat an Allosaurus, but definitely not one. 
Yeah, and sometimes it even has the strength on the leg, but not as much as the tail. And do you know something? Uh, if a Stegosaurus and Triceratops were battling, that can't happen. They were in different periods. Periods mean that, alike, uh, there were some dinos in one period, those got extinct, and new ones came. Extinct means like they just uh, vanished out of the earth by a meteorite. Meteorite means like a rock made out of fire in space. Yes. So uh, imagine if a Triceratops and Stegosaurus has a battle. They're from a different period, so they can't. But if they were battling, the spikes can just fully just destroy this Triceratops. Even the Triceratops' head, even though that the Triceratops have the most strength on the head, but these could just smash the triceratops and that's all the information i know about stegosaurus so this is the end of this video goodbye